Welcome back. Right, we've got an event to see at Tomoe's Hotel. So let's go. Still think it was Momoe's Hotel. Tiara, you're awake! Mr. Stalker? What are you doing at my bedside? Mr. Stalker. Did you perhaps bring me here while I was unconscious? So that you could commit... Unspeakable acts? I keep telling you, you've got it all wrong. But anyway, it looks like there's nothing to worry about now. You have Marissa's loving attention to thank for that. Joey! Joey! Thank goodness you're right. But who are all you people? Okay, I need you to listen very carefully. We're from the future. I knew your face was rancid. I had no idea your brain was too. You honestly expect me to believe such a ridiculous story? It's true. If you're trying to pull a prank on me, you could have come up with something much more convincing. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. We were traveling together, trying to collect all the Furies and revive the Goddess. But when we got all the Furies, we accidentally revived the Vile God along with the Goddess. We ended up having to take on the Vile God. And after that... Yes? After that? <sighs> yeah... The power of the Goddess awakened, and we were sent into the past. One different from our own. Basically, we got sent to this world of yours. <sighs> so, do you believe us? Of course I do not! I know that stalkers tend to suffer from megalomania, but this is truly terrifying! Such pitiful people cannot distinguish between reality and fantasy, and believe themselves to be unique in the world. Why does it always go this way? We're trying to have an important conversation here. If you don't stop, I swear I'm gonna deck you. Such sudden violence! Oh, but why is my heart pounding like this? I'm beginning to think this girl is more trouble than she's worth. Yeah. Listen, what about this? A girl like you shouldn't be out traveling alone. We're collecting the Furies too, so why don't you join us? You wish for me to join your group? Sure. What do you say? Absolutely not. What the hell? You damn harpy! <gasps> so wonderful! Uh, please let me think it over. Dear, oh dear. Fine. You can spend the night here. We'll talk again tomorrow. I wonder if these people truly believe their ridiculous story. Well, it is true. I don't get the sense that they're lying. And that man, Fang, his face seems to dwell deep within some corner of my memory. Hmm. Kiwi, Kiwi? Kiwi? What do you think, Kiwi? What does Kiwi think? I want to know. I miss the windmills. Good morning, everyone. Yo, how'd you sleep? Very well, thank you. In fact, I suddenly remembered where I knew you from. Oh dear, what's it gonna be? Huh? So then, your memories came back? It's probably gonna be the flyer, isn't it? Nothing of the sort! I'm talking about this! What, what the hell is that? A wanted poster? I knew it, I knew it! You're Fang the Heretic! I knew your face looked familiar! Tell the truth! You're the fencer that the Septarian Club put a bounty on, are you not? Yeah, you see, that's... How frightful! I nearly signed on with a gang of heretics! I do feel indebted to you for tending to my wounds, so I will refrain from turning you in. But could you please never show your faces around me again? Good day! Hey, Tiara! Well, that could have gone better. Aw, oh, nuts, there she goes! Now what do we do? Let her leave. What can we do? Let's just forget it for today. If we keep collecting Furies, we're bound to run into her again at some point. So should we go looking for the next Fury? Or maybe track down some more Dorfa members? Dorfa? Do you have information about someone's whereabouts? Well, not the man himself. But the younger sister of Apollonius, one of the four heavenly stars, sells flowers in the town square. Emily! His sister? 
Do you know her name? Is it Emily? Oh, um, I think it could have been something like that. Do you know her, Fang? Yeah, kinda. So she's here. Okay, I'm gonna go find her. She might know where we can find Apollonius. Apollonius? Sorry, but I wouldn't waste my time. All he cares about is honing his blade. I can't imagine what you could possibly say to convince him to join with us. Yeah, but it's worth a shot. You ended up joining us after all, so there might be hope for Apollonius. Fine, do as you wish. I have no reason to believe he would listen to anything I had to say, so I'll leave it to you. All right, and see if there's any events. There's a few. Tiara, yeah, I didn't remember us, did she? Guess not. Maybe the shock of dying wiped her memory. We've done that one. I just can't get used to living in an inn. There's so many people I can't seem to get comfortable. Don't let it bother you so much, you'll get you. Yeah, we've seen that one, but why do they keep coming back? It doesn't make sense. Would you like to buy some flowers? Uh, hello, can I interest you in some flowers? We'll buy some flowers. Emily! Who are you? Oh, thank goodness. I've been looking all over for you. Um, I'm sorry, but do I know you? Uh, um, well, you see, I kind of know your older brother. Uh, my brother? Th then, are you a member of Dorfa? No, that's not... Jeez, oh, how do I explain? Huh? Anyway, let's just say I'm an acquaintance of his, and I really need to talk to him. Do you know where he is? Well, yes. We live together. Seriously? Oh, that's great! So can you take me to him? Uh, okay. But when you see him, please try not to be too shocked. Shocked? Huh? What do you mean? You'll understand when you see him. <sighs> Looks generally fine to me. Apollonius. Emily, is that you? Did you get my wine? Oh, he's an alcoholic. No, I wasn't able to sell any flowers today. Then get back out there until you do. Have you already forgotten who's been taking care of you all these years? Stop it! Please, just stop! The hell? That's enough, Apollonius! Who the hell are you? You're a complete mess! What's happened since the last time I saw you? Apologies, but I have no idea who you are. Emily, why did you bring this man here? Oh, um, he said he was an acquaintance of yours. And I was telling the truth. We've met before. Although it wasn't a world separate from this one. Are you sick in the head, boy? Get out of my sight. I'm telling you the truth. I know you used to work for Dorfa. <laughs> Dorfa. Now there's a name I haven't heard in some time. Don't call Star Wars on us. Apollonius, what the hell happened to you? Nothing. I simply grew tired of my way of life. What point is there to devoting your entire self to the blade? When Dorfa collapsed, all I had left were my long-rusted skills and my crushing debt. Debt? The Septarian Club. Once Dorfa was gone, they strongly encouraged me to join them. So it's all about the debt. Not necessarily the wine, it's about the debt, but... Still, that's weird. But only on the condition that I bought their ridiculously overpriced wine. So they've been doing that to everyone, huh? But why? That is their modus operandi. Either you buy their wine, or they send you to the camp. I sold my soul to keep my sister fed. Apollonius. No matter what I did for them, my debt only kept increasing. Before long, I even found myself drinking their wine. Now, here I am. <sighs> hey, I know. Why don't you hire me? Despite how I look, I was once a, a famous swordsman. Surely you could use a bodyguard, yes? Don't really think we want you as part of the group, really. 100 gold. No, even 10 gold is fine. Anything as long as it lets me buy my next drink. 
You're nothing but a shadow of the swordsman who once stood as Dorfa's strongest warrior. I don't want to see this anymore. Huh. <laughs> Say whatever you like. I don't need pity from the likes of you, boy. I'm not a boy. My name is Fang. I came all this way, so the least you could do is remember the name. It's a damn shame, Apollonius. I really thought you'd be able to help us. Indeed. I can't believe Apollonius could end up like that. To tell you the truth, I met Apollonius' sister in our old world. Wait, really? Yeah. She was on a journey looking to get revenge on the person who killed Apollonius. She was just a kid, you know? There's the windmills though, I just noticed. She told me she hated the fencer who had killed her brother. She hated him so much she couldn't handle it. I couldn't bring myself to tell her that her brother's killer was standing right in front of her. Bang. I never want to feel that way again. Which is why I was hoping I could save this world's version of Apollonius. It, it isn't your fault! The Septarian Club is to blame for all of this. They target people's weaknesses and exploit evil business practices. How many tears have been shed because of their actions? Are you okay, Lola? This isn't like you. Yeah. Well, they made it impossible for me to run a legitimate business here, you know? Of course. It's a shame what happened to Apollonius. It looks like we alone will have to defeat the Septarian Club. And Sherman, I will shatter the brand of justice that they advocate. That's the only way to save the people of this world. Yeah, you're right. Well, you're back quick. Tiara! What is it? What's wrong? Hmm. Are you associates of this woman? Huh? You... You're... A... Ray version of Pippin? It seems more... Muscly? Pippin? Hmm. I am not familiar with such a foolish name. My name is Pappin. I am a servant of justice. Pappin. Like from the name, that to me that seems like maybe he's Pippin's dad or something. Pappin? What the heck? Does this mean Pippin's fate has been distorted too? So wait, Pappin is Pippin. Heretics who would threaten justice. You are walking corpses. Clasp your sins to your breast and return to the depths of hell. W what? You saying you want to fight? His aura is so oppressive. This is no ordinary being. Everyone, be careful. Oh, so we're in a fight now. All right then. You shall disappear. Prepare yourselves. And up his voice. The whoa. He's strong. What's with this music? Yeah, uh, looks like we can't win this fight. My turn. Because I think Ethel is my strongest Get character, chance. and if she can't do any damage, that means we can't win. Let's do this. So let's skip. Let us begin. My turn. Ready, color Prepare up. your goodbye. I'm ready. Here I come. So we just need to die. There we go. Uh, this guy is tough. Yeah, I mean, the battle took place somewhere, and it moved us off to somewhere else because the background has completely changed. Hmm. You survived a taste of my blade. How interesting. Such an achievement deserves a reward. I shall show you my special attack. Ah! Ah! Oh no! Bang! And now, Vile God's Handmaiden, your turn has come. <laughs> vile God's Handmaiden? If you must curse something, curse your own blood. The blood of the vile god flowing within you wants to destroy the world. It perverts justice. For the purity of justice, I will see you die here! No! Stop! Stop! Hold it right there! There's Pippin! Huh? It has been too long, father. I knew it. Father? Is that Great Pippin the real Pippin's dad? I severed our familial ties long ago, Pippin. What business do you have with me now? Isn't it obvious, Father? I'm here to put a stop to you! 
Only I am capable of waking you to the reality that you've lost control. Right, Soji. Indeed. But your father is highly skilled. Perhaps you would do well to request help from Fang and the others. Huh. A reasonable observation. Soji, heal the youngsters! I thought you would say that. And I have already finished. Whoa! Oh, my wounds are healed! Cool. You should be ready to rejoin the fight now. Everyone, please lend us your strength. Okay. This is absurd. You are amateurs unaware of the true meaning of justice. And you would dare band together to stand against me? Well, of course. Pippin, can you possibly cast me down? It's not a question of whether or not I can. This is one fight I have to win, and that's all there is to it. Father, let us battle. Yay! All right, let's get Pippin in for this. It seems appropriate. How do I how do I do that? There we go. Formation. All right, let's get Apollonius out because he's a drunk. We know that now. Pippin is in. So the only people we need now, Tiara's around. We know that. Is Ethel, and then this group makes sense. So basically, I'm trying to get all the characters that make sense in the group. Like these ones, just not here at the moment. But we need to get rid of two more. But Tiara, I assume, will eventually get. Just need to know where Ethel is and whether or not she will actually join the group. But let's go. Pippin versus Pappin, it says in the chapter. That'll actually be the name of this part, because it seems appropriate. You shall disappear! My turn. I got rid of the awesome music, but it has different music. Executing Lunatic Dance. Lunatic Dance. Not Might go with normal attacks. See if my I can get my attention up. What? No parts break to take care of. Let's get serious face on. We'll go Here with, like, go. doing this properly. This way, that will do nothing. Let's do... No, normal attacks is what I wanted to do, wasn't it? All right, so normal attacks. What? My turn. Your turn. Right, we will go with a normal thing here, which is dash deal. Doesn't have anything. Fair enough. All right, he can fair rise now. I need to get right next to him to do the special skill there. Still not sorted out for a combo though. Get ready. All right, so normal attacks. I'm ready. Now's my chance. My turn. Right, what we got here? Let's actually, like I said, do some normal stuff here. So we'll do Paralyze on him. Executing. Missed. Ready, right. Uh, hold on. Question. Here we go. Oh, I want to see that work. That's the thing. Fair eyes. Behold my true form! Right, let's get an Excalibur! Excalibur! How about you? Victory! My final blow! Good chunk of damage taken off there. I'll handle this! Normal attacks then. Not bad. Prepare yourself. No looking bare eyes. Not bad. My turn. Nope, still got fair eyes with Ethel. Let's do this. Not done yet. My turn. What? My turn. Right, fair eyes. Thank him, fair eyes as well. Now, fantastic. Here come the awesome wings. I really like those wings. They're like high-tech wings. It's really cool. Alright, magical magic. <laughs> that little laugh. I'll kill you. Not bad. Right, let's get another Excalibur going. Unleash the ancient punishment. Excalibur. 
Excalibur! Excalibur! Now a fair eyes with Fang will probably finish are it off. Not, are you prepared? No flash. Whoa! Jeez. Allow me. Although I did My do ex like two Excaliburs there, didn't I? So I'll just do normal attacks. Yes. The music here is reminding me of it's a I space game. Let's do this. What was the space game? I think it was Nexus Jupiter Incident. The music's reminding me of that for some reason. It's been ages since I played that game. That was a good game, that was. All right, let's I'd go. recommend it. I think it's on Steam. It's, it's quite good. It's quite good. Force Impact. Force impact. You're finished. Get out of here. There we go, he's dead. Very dead. This is just overkill. Next. I knew I was strong. 80 WP. Yay. How do you like that? Hmm. What's wrong, you whelps? After all, I am still standing. You lost though. We threw everything we had at him and still. He's not even a fencer. Where is he getting all that strength? It is absurd to rely on such esoteric toys. True strength comes from within the self. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Lady Mariana, what are we gonna do? Why, Father? If you truly are this powerful, why do you submit to the Septarian Club? A novice like you could never understand. Human frailty. Ignorance. To overcome these and attain justice, one must have a banner to rally behind. And what good is a banner if the one holding it deceives people and puts them in shackles? People are meant to be free! Doesn't justice, true justice, dwell within a free soul? The time for words is over. I will show no mercy, even to my own child. This is bad. He's gonna use that attack again. What? What's happening? Uh, father! What the hell? There's blood everywhere! Father! S stay away! Father! Don't tell me! <laughs> That's right. My time has run out. But even on the precipice of death, I have not yet fulfilled my ambition. I cannot die. Not yet. Father, is this why you set yourself upon this path? Pippin, if you believe you possess true justice, then you must see your beliefs through to the end. The opposite of justice is not evil, but rather a different version of justice. A different version of justice. My justice and yours. Let us settle this one day. Father. The breeze is warm today, Master. Oh, he's alive. Oh. It is indeed. Perhaps we should take a farther walk than usual, Sanguina. Wherever you go. I will follow. Oh, my goodness gracious! A handsome young gentleman and a radiant young lady. Truly a match made in heaven. You're one of the Septarians. Ah, oh, you remember me! My heart soars! It's been too long, Sir Bernard. What do you want with me? I already bought your damnable wine. I had to drain Dorfa's accounts dry to do it, but you got your money. And do you know I threw the bottle out without opening it? It was obviously not worth drinking. Good gracious, what a waste! If you had but asked, I would have happily decanted it for you. Decanting can increase the flavor up to twofold, you know. Go give your wine lessons somewhere else. State your business or get out of my sight. Yes, yes, well put. The diligent Dorfer Bulwark is well spoken as always. Then let me get right to the point. 
I did speak to you about this before, did I not? The blood of the Vile God, which flows within you. I thought we already resolved that. In that other world you spoke of, I was apparently quite consumed by my ambition. Oh. I mean, yeah, his voice does seem a bit softer here, so maybe he's not as bad. But as you can see, I'm nothing but a simple recluse. I have lost everything. And if possible, I would like to add you to that list. I wish I could, but that simply won't do. Lord Sherman is in search of perfect justice, and as such, he cannot tolerate a single blemish. So, you wish to kill me? That's all up to you. Lord Sherman holds your skill as a fencer in the highest regard. If you swear to be reborn as an Apostle of Justice and serve the Septarian Club, you have our word that you and your pretty friend will be safe. Hmm. Master, I must ask you to make your decision quickly. Much like yourself, I lack the virtues of a patient disposition. Very well. I will accept your proposal. God damn it, Bernard. Simply spectacular! You've made a very wise decision. Oh, goddess damn it, Bernard. Are you sure this is wise, Master? It absolutely isn't. You see it as clearly as I do, don't you? This woman is a bottomless well of malice. Sir Bernard, how awful! You mustn't say such terrible things to a lady. I have nothing but affection for all the gentlemen of the world. <laughs> hmm. What is she up to? So when Pavin mentioned the blood of the vile god, it really didn't ring any bells? Nothing? Also, maybe she doesn't have it. I'm sorry. I really don't have the slightest idea. What could it mean? During that battle, the Vile God's crest definitely appeared on her forehead. Sherman noticed it too. Sherman's probably thinking that Tiara might have the Vile God's blood in this world too. So he's going after her. That way, he can keep the Vile God from reviving ever again. That's terrible! It's a false accusation! I don't know anything about this Vile God! That's their version of justice. Anything they don't like or approve of, they brand it heretical and erase it. They don't allow any room for mercy or compassion. How they can call that pure justice? The way you talk, it sounds like you came to this world the same way we did. Am I right? Are you the Piften we know? Mm. And I was quite taken aback at first. But no matter the world I inhabit, I only have one task to fulfill. Societal reform. The Septarian Club supports a false idea of justice. And for that, they must be destroyed! Then you'll join us in our fight, right? Of course, my boy. And there's the matter of my father as well. Indeed. Indeed. Um, this might be out of line, but... Do fairies really have a concept of parrots? Oh, uh, not again. Oh no, Pippin is the fencer, not the fairy. That would be me. You can call me Soji. What? But I just can't comprehend a world in which you're not the fencer. Everyone has that reaction at first. Surely you recognize that it's not how one looks that matters, but what's on the inside? You must learn how to truly observe people, young lady. Observe people? I understand what you're saying, but are you sure you're a person? Of course, Pippin is. Never mind all that. Tiara. What are you going to do now? Keep on wandering around by yourself? No. I fear that may be impossible. Now that I've been branded a heretic, they will likely pursue me wherever I go. Then come with us. We're heretics too, but at least there's strength in numbers, right? Right. Why are you doing all of this for me? Well, it's true you're not the Tiara that we knew. But when it comes down to it, you're still Tiara. It's my job to keep you safe. So just shut up and do what I say, woman! <gasps> Could you say that again? Do it, woman! Okay... I will follow you. Oh dear, he's, he's learned her weakness. Oh no. I'm so glad I don't have to deal with her. Well, I'm glad we got all that figured out. Now Fang can relax a little bit. Okay, so what's next on the agenda? 
Find Harley. It's the only person we need to find, isn't it? I've got some juicy info. My little birdies tell me a strange researcher recently showed up on the outskirts of town. There you go. A strange researcher? Are you thinking it could be Harley? Yes, indeedy. But the Justice Society has its eye on her. They think her research is suspicious. It's only a matter of time till they brand her a heretic. Got it. Well then, let's go say hi to Harley. Ah, just a moment. I believe there's still the small matter of the bill. Ugh, you don't miss a thing when it comes to money, do you? <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. There we go. Oh, wait, there's Ethel as well, isn't there? How could I forget Ethel? No steady work, no money to conduct research, and no food, so we can't even get our energy up. Even I'm just about at my wit's end. I just want to call in sick and play hooky. It's scary how nice that sounds. Man, where'd my motivation button go? I don't have it, I can tell you that much. Perhaps you dropped it somewhere on the way here. Uh -huh. You think we should go look for it? Or maybe it'll just show up again on its own. Hey, Harley! You here? Oh, I didn't actually expect them to turn up, like, right now. Well, well! Look who it is! Fang! And Aaron and Pippin! It's been a while, guys. Oh, so she remembers as well. <sighs> You're the Harley we remember! Thank goodness! I'm glad to see you in good health, young lady. I finally found my motivation button! I don't even care that I said that out loud! Yeah... Erin, You're just as adorable as I remember! And Pippin, that sword in your head? Trey Sexy! Man, you guys really are the best! Um... Does this girl always get excited so easily? Pretty much. I believe so, yes. Hey! Is that Mariana of Dorfa, I spy? Did you decide to join up with Fang, too? Yep. Boy, I guess a lot's happened since the last time we saw each other. I gotta say, ever since the first time I saw you, I've been very interested in your fury form. Did you mess with the fusion coefficient for that? I've never seen such an imposing form. i just love to take a look at your fairy. I wholeheartedly refuse. I have no intention of turning her into a guinea pig. Lady Mariana, this girl's scaring me! Wow, a cold shoulder, huh? That's disappointing. Hey, Bahas, I'm starving. <laughs> Fix me up one of your famous specialties, would ya? I would absolutely love to make you something. I'm afraid our cupboards are bone dry. Sorry. Mm. Oh, come on! You're kidding, right? That's the only reason I was so excited to see you guys. Only reason. Really, Fang? Now you're kidding, right? We've got more important things to worry about. Shut up. Since we can't leave the inn, we haven't been to any restaurants lately. And I'm sick and tired of that inn food. Oh, that's right. The Justice Society is looking for you, huh? I saw the poster. Must be pretty tough. You act like you're not in the same boat. Doesn't the Justice Society have its eye on you, too? Oh, yes, exactly right. Everyone in this world keeps going on and on about justice this and order that. Just because I told them I want to study a few fairies, they treat me like a total perv. It is not cool. It probably has something to do with your attitude. You can't get near a fairy without drooling. Yeah, that is a bit weird. Anyway, whatever. Because of all that, I've had to start living like a hermit. Well then, could I hire you to do a job for me? A job, huh? You want me to study Erin? Great! I'm excited and ready to go. I've got a change of clothes ready for her and... Jeez, calm down! That's not it at all! What I want you to do is, look into the wine that the Septarian Club has been selling. Yes, good. We need to know what the hell's going on with that. The wine? How come? Because that wine has basically ruined Apollonius. I want to try and help him. Hmm... So Apollonius and the wine are connected, huh? Gotta say, I didn't see that coming. Oh, but he did die in our old world. 
so is he like a totally different person in this world? Well, whatever. Either way, it comes down to alcoholism, right? I can analyze the wine all I want, but I'm not a medical doctor. So there's nothing you can do? Well, I mean, I can try putting together a remedy, but it's not gonna be easy. When you say not gonna be easy, first I'd need a fairy flower. I can boil that down to its essence and make a panacea, but I don't know where to find it around here. Fairy flower? That sounds really familiar. Don't get your hopes up. You're probably just confusing it with some kind of food. Oh, that's right! The amulet that Emily gave me! Harley, can you use this? This is... Well, it's definitely fairy flower essence. Just where the heck did you get this? I ran into Apollonius' sister a while back and she gave it to me. So, can you use it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes! This is perfect! Although it's too weak to work by itself. You think you could get the rest of the ingredients? I'll need a few more things. You should be able to find everything at the Dasuhiro Plains. Yay, we're going back there again. Bahas, if I give you a map and a few tips, you think you could show them the way? What? You're not coming? I need to see Apollonius for myself. I'm interested to see the effects of a fencer's alcoholism on their fairy. <laughs> oh dear. That right there is exactly why people avoid you. Just give me the map and we'll get going. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, I actually think this is a good place to end this- Oh wait, maybe, maybe not. If this is a look for Lola, we'll do that first. Yeah, we'll get that done first. Oh, Fang, welcome! You're looking for Fury Info, right? Thanks a bunch! Someone said they spied a new Fury at the Yatagun Lava Flows. Oh. Off you go now. Does that open up then? But... Yatagun Lava... She did say Yatagun Lava Flows, didn't she? But I'm assuming she meant the Kataka's Ice Caves. She def... I'm gonna have to go back and check that. But anyway, I'm gonna cut ahead to the sub-event. There we go then. And I'm assuming this is the look for Lola. Are you ready? Yeah, My seems turn. it. Right, let's see if we can get an assassination. I'm Do -do -do. I only used it ten times. Go a parts break get with ready. everyone else though. Take off. Here we go! Seize this chance! I need these parts to break, please. There's one. Ready, Still not sorted her combos out. I will eventually do it. Did that work? There we go! Chopped on, well done, Apple. There we go then. Well, that was a look for Lola. We'll get this item while we're here. And we'll get out of here. But yeah, so I think this is a good place to end this part. It's weird, I'm sure she said Yatagan Lava Flows. Anyway, so we'll be starting the next part in here and looking at this sub-event and then going off to... The dis, 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 the planes, the planes, whatever they're called, the planes. We're going there with the wushy, the awesome wushy. So we'll see you in the next part. Bye bye.